shock and not the type of shock where you're surprised about something the type of shock where you can't believe that something is happening but it seems kind of like seems kind of weird that i can't believe it because it happens so much and since it happens so much it's like you you can't believe it but you can at the same time horrified honestly um the the fact that innocent people were murdered by policemen and they got little to no consequences from it um is horrible but not particularly surprising because i've i've seen a bunch of instagram posts and news articles and stuff like that about deaths that have happened before this and i'm i'm really glad that people are actually doing something about it and trying to fix the systemic problem because it's objectively wrong i have watched both of them and they were both very hard to watch i had trouble getting through them because there was just so much emotion that pours over you while watching them and I don't think it is necessary for anyone to watch them. But I think the issue with people sharing these graphic videos on social media is that people of color and other people who have been impacted by police brutality and murder like this have trauma from it. And you are therefore making them relive all of that, which is not a fair or a necessary thing for you to be putting them through feel as if it's more likely for it to happen to me because I actually saw it on a video more vividly and made me more and more disappointed as I saw more videos and more statements coming out about the cases. Platforms like Instagram have helped me become more aware of what's actually happening at the protests because major media outlets are censoring the full story and I'm unable to attend any firsthand. So these videos have helped me like see what's actually going on and not just what big companies and corporations want you to see, what they want you to think is happening. It's been able to tell me exactly what I need to do and what I need to encourage others to do. So things like having difficult conversations with people or really diving in and realizing my own privilege and thinking about what I can do with that. Um, more awareness was gained from it. I mean, obviously, every woman's already aware of the situation. Some people just chose to ignore it. So the things that happened during the protests raised certain people's concerns, whether that was negative for them or not. And it gave people more of a chance to speak on a more public platform because of news outlets and sources like that going and interviewing people and getting videos of the protests and the marches. Publicity. I think it made the world and really the country understand that this is not just one state's issue. This is everyone's issue and everyone cares about this and is talking about it and protesting for it. I think that's the most important thing.